Hey guys, it's Larry with Packmasters Dog Training. Um, for all the dog trainers out there that are struggling a little bit right now because of everything that's going on all around the world, it's tough. There's no way around it. It's affecting everyone in every industry, but this is mainly towards my dog training peers out there. Um, we've all had to start doing things a little bit different because of the circumstances we're in. Unfortunately, many dog trainers out there are losing business by the day and many don't have any clients coming in right now because of the fears of getting sick and that's a horrible spot to be in. I know I've had to do things a little differently and I don't know if this will help anyone but I'm just telling you guys about the small changes, well not small changes, big changes I've had to make and if it could help one person out there stay on their feet or make things a little easier then I'll be happy for that. I've sent a few dogs home this week from my board and train programs. Now, normally, I like to spend several hours with the client the day that dog goes home. There's so much information to transfer. Obviously, we can't really do that safely right now without putting people at risk or just having the fears of getting sick. You don't wanna to try to transfer that kind of information to someone when the mindset's not there, right? It's not gonna be beneficial. Many of you may have seen the letter that I send home with every client for the dog that I do a board and train with. It's basically just, not just giving instructions on what to do now, but more of um, just thanking them for believing in me and giving me the opportunity and what to expect in the next few months. I've posted that online before. Many of you use that. Many of you have asked for permission to use it. And if I post something, it's free to be shared, okay? So what I'm going to do now is just discuss a little bit of the changes I have to make, which I think maybe in the long run will help us all anyway once this whole thing's over, all right? I like to make a lot of videos along the way with the client's dog and send, them, send those videos along the way so the clients can not only see the change in the dog and the progress, but they can refer back to it as a guideline when the dog gets home in case they can't remember something I've said or done or we talked about, okay? Short videos, easy for the client to understand. So the videos that I make aren't videos trying to look fat, flashy or look good. They're very specific to teach the owner something and they're short and they're simple. That's how I try to keep it. That's just the way I do things. Now those videos are more important than ever. So with every dog I take in now, because there's still people that want to drop their dog off for a boarding train, we're going to do things a little differently on the drop-offs and pickups. We have to, right? But even more important now, I'm going to make those videos a lot more specific because of the situation. So hopefully along the way, if I have that dog for a whole month or a month and a half, that client is taking something in and retaining something before we ever meet with the dog, okay? That's just the way I'm gonna do things. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is the letter that I've posted for you guys to share if you wanted, and it's the letter I send home with all board and train clients. So instead of posting it continually, I'm just going to read through it here so you kinda have an understand what I'm talking about. This is what I expect from every dog, every client. They get the same letter if I have to change something for a specific reason, I do, and it goes like this. First, let me say thank you. Thank you for trusting me with something so important to you and your family. Thank you for giving me the privilege and the opportunity to improve your life, your dog's life, and making your lives together what it should be. It is a responsibility that I do not take lightly. You could have chosen anyone and you chose me. For that, I am your dog trainer for the life of your dog until they cross the rainbow bridge as long as you want me in your life. During your dog's stay with me and my family, he was treated exactly how our own dogs are treated. That means with love, care, respect, and understanding of what they needed to thrive, not just survive. We built a strong bond and relationship before the real work even started. Now we are a team, and in order for us to have true everlasting success, I must pass that on to you. Now it is my responsibility to teach you as much as I can to continue real world progress. Please understand that a dog is not trained in two weeks. 
A dog is not trained in three, four, or five weeks. It takes time and consistency. With that being said, we can do amazing things in a few short weeks, but it is just the beginning. The foundation is laid and it is strong. We added wanted behaviors and, elim and eliminated unwanted behaviors. Most importantly, the dog learned how to learn and your dog is now a clean slate ready and willing to please you if you allow it. What I now need from you is this. For best results, your dog needs both mental and physical stimulation on a daily basis. The following four steps will help you continue progress. One, identify and eliminate the bad habits inside the home that most likely created the behavioral issues. Two, replace the bad habits with good habits. Three, structure, rules, and boundaries followed consistently. Four, positive interaction with you through play and formal obedience. The first three take no time out of your day to implement. You are already doing something anyway. Just do the right things now. You're always training whether you know it or not. The dog knows it. Number four takes very little time. A couple of minutes a couple times a day goes a long way. Real results equal 10% trainer, 90% owner. It's up to me to provide you with the education, information, and opportunity. Keep it simple. There must be consequences for doing right, and there must be consequences for doing wrong. Reward good behavior whether you ask for it or not. Correct unwanted behavior quickly. If you do not correct unwanted behavior, you are rewarding it. Obedience. Continue to master and work on the basics. Come, sit, down, place, out, and leave it. Practice on leash, off leash, with food, without food, with toys, without toys, with rewards, without rewards, with tools, without tools. Practice in the intermittent phase as long as needed when using tools. Continue to work on adding duration of commands. Continue to work on adding distance to commands. Continue adding distractions to training. Practice everywhere. Strive to achieve advanced obedience, which is simply mastery of the basics under all conditions. Structured walk. Strive for daily structured walks. No smelling, peeing, or pooping unless given release command. Dog must be at your side or slightly behind. Change speeds. Normal speed. Fast pace. Very slow. At least until walk is mastered. Free walk. Long line and dog can move about freely. Practice recall and all other basic commands on free walk. Implement play on free walk. Mix it up. Free walk, structure walk, obedience and play is a tremendous training session. Release command. The dog must know it well. If the dog does not know its release command, it's that much harder for the dog to know how to remain in command. New behaviors. Teach your dog something new, even if you think it's useless. Utilize food luring and marking to do so. Take your time and you'll see both grow as a team. Be a captain, not a dictator. Be firm, but not angry. Be fair and consistent. A tool will never bring out the best in a dog, but a tool can bring out the best in your training and the worst. I don't need perfection in the positions. I need perfection in the attitude. Most of all, enjoy the process and the time that you have together. It goes fast and they are not with us long enough. Thank you once again on behalf of me and my family for allowing us into your lives. That's what I give every board and train client. It's very important to me that they understand what they need to do to keep the process going and get better and better. But it's also important that they understand and appreciate their trust in giving me and my family something so important to them. So if this can help you in any way, please use it. If you have any questions, contact me. And I wish everyone, every dog trainer out there trying to do the best they can, nothing but the best. And hopefully we'll be through this soon and we'll all be better for it. Peace.